What is good YouTube, what's you here with another video and Henry Cavill will still be in Superman. Like I said, I will keep you up to date with all the latest Superman news as I know I have an audience for this. So, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. At the 100,000 subscriber mark, I will be giving away a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X or a Switch with any game. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and let me know down below what are you most excited for in 2020. And if you do subscribe, we get to the 100,000 faster and then I can give away that gift faster. So let's get into this video. So as we know, The Witcher is coming out tomorrow. I've already watched it. It is freaking insane. Make sure to watch it. I will be dropping a review tomorrow at some point. So in a recent interview with the Radio Times, which is an English company They're based in England, it was interesting. Henry Cavill had an interview. Henry Cavill alliterates he keeps saying the same thing that despite his busy schedule with the witcher he should be able to squeeze in another project to work on in the same year leaving a possible opening to play superman again if given the opportunity he had this to say you've got to keep in mind that regardless of what movies i'll be doing over the next couple of years you can fit in two projects into one year and as i've alliterated so many times guys the witch has eight episodes they shoot for four to five months you can shoot a fully fledged movie in three months Given the uncertain future regarding his reign as Superman on the big screen, although in a recent interview with Men's Health, Henry Cavill states he is not giving up the cape, it's still his cape, and he wears it better than anyone else. Seriously, did you see Christ on the Earth? Brandon Roof, Tyler Hecklin, don't look as good as Henry Cavill in the suit. Tom Welling, well, he didn't even have any powers in that, did he? So, yeah. He didn't even have any powers, that's just always say. Henry Cavill was asked about whether or not he had any hope left in playing the Man of Steel for the fourth time, to which he referenced Superman Emblem as portrayed in, in Man of Steel. I mean, that's what it stands for, right? So, that is interesting, and that is all we had to say. So, he is still alliterating and confirming that Henry Cavill is still Superman. I don't know why people keep spinning the narrative that Michael B. Jordan is going to be playing Val Zod or a variation of Superman when Henry Cavill literally keeps saying the same thing. He is still Superman. Now, it's good for me because I like talking about Henry Cavill Superman, but it's not good for you guys because you don't like me keep saying the same thing. But he keeps saying he is still Superman. So what is also interesting in a different kind of article. Henry Cavill blames Ben Affleck for putting Superman's role in jeopardy. Or did he? So, let's go over what exactly what was said. They didn't have much of an on-stream chemistry and didn't get on particularly well, I suppose the source tells this outlet. Plus, fans never warmed up to Ben Affleck playing Batman. Well, that, okay, I did, so I don't really understand where it's going, but the title, was video, the title of this article was interesting. But Henry doesn't feel it's right that he too has to lose his job because of that. The alleged insider adds, he finds it unfair that just because Ben will never reprise his role, he hasn't been able to either. He loves playing Superman and doesn't want to be brushed off as a failure. It should be noticed that there hasn't been an official decision on whether Warner Bros. Studio is going to recast Henry Cavill. And this is why I get so triggered because Warner Bros. noticed in a statement last year, we have a great relationship and great respect for Henry Cavill that continues to remain unchained. Additionally, we have made no current decision regarding any Superman films. Regardless, Cavill isn't solely blaming Affleck because of Batman vs. Superman and Justice League underperformance. There were a ton of factors, including why this failed. You know, the whole let's kind of let's sack. Zack Snyder when he's going through family tragedy, which is so freaking bad. It, I mean, seriously. I mean, the premise doesn't make much sense either. Gal Gadot and Jason Moore will continue their respective roles in Wonder Woman 984, coming out pretty soon. We have the first trailer. It looks decent. Aquaman 2 is coming out 2022. Yeah, 2022. Which, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. A lot of people seem to think because Ben Affleck is done and Robert Pattinson is the next Batman that for some reason Henry Cavill's done a Superman, but that really doesn't make any it doesn't make any sense. Why would Henry Cavill keep saying he is Superman? And then you go back to the boss logic image we spoke about when he made a Man of Steel 2 with Brainiac, and Boss Logic commented something that insinuated 
he knows something that no one else knows. Then you go back to the fact the Black Adam image that the Rocks team commissioned for Boss Logic to make with their Henry Cavill looking, it's Superman looking over Black Adam, absolutely destroying him. The fact that the Rock is Black Adam and they're going to start shooting next summer. The fact they both have the same agent. Everything is looking likely that Henry Cavill has already signed a deal, but he's not allowed to say anything. And they have a great relationship, apparently, according to and information last year. Just last month, like we said before, Henry Cavill told Men's Health, I've not given up the role. There's a lot left to give on the Superman role. Although there's no official announcement on this, Cavill isn't officially out of the job, so people, please stop coming out with ridiculous articles saying he's done, he's dusted, this David guy from The Politician is going to be the next Superman, because there's literally no evidence anywhere Zack Snyder's recently shared the black superman suit his superman was like that Cavill's not done there is hundreds of articles of people saying he's not done this David Corsnet I don't know how you say his name he is playing a dude in the politician they're going to be shooting season two soon he looks like a fine actor he also looks like a spitting image of Henry Cavill so if they were to get rid of Henry Cavill superman they wouldn't replace him with a look like that literally makes no sense the fact that witcher season two has already been picked up before the season ends tells everyone the studio has massive confidence in that and when you see season one you'll be you wouldn't know why i'm going to say that yes it should be renewed for three seasons it should it is really that good so it is interesting that no one seems to know the truth it's all right everyone's saying he's done as superman he's done he's dusted but then you've got to factor in everything else. They, people can't even agree if the Justice League Snyder Cut exists when Snyder has literally uploaded over 100 images of the Snyder Cut, different images that have not been seen. It, it doesn't make any sense. People don't even know if it's real, even though there's a lot of validity, there's a lot of evidence to suggest the Snyder Cut does exist. But now what's happening on Twitter and social media is people are backtracking. They're deleting old tweets. They're deleting old messages because now there is concrete evidence. He's only done and shown you the highlight reel, the reels that filmed five hours plus. Zack Snyder's version of the movie was three and a half hours. So people can keep saying this movie doesn't exist. But we know it does exist. But I've got one question for you guys is will they release the Snyder Cut, no pun intended, on HBO Max. Now, I've done so many Justice League Snyder Cut videos, but new information keeps appearing every single time you go online. Someone's got something to say. A new image appears. Ray Fisher, who plays Cyborg, is also an advocate of this movie. There's recently been some new images of him new steals appear again and then people are like it doesn't exist well how do new images it's new images from obviously the american football scene appeared on reddit and they are real why because no one's ever seen them they shot so much footage that was never seen and i don't really know if we are ever going to see it it's just a shame that Zack snyder's work won't be seen but one thing for sure is dark side would have been a much greater villain than thanos if you know anything about comics you would know that dark side would obliterate thanos like he was nothing literally like he's nothing it's quite funny because if you played the video game marvel ultimate alliance thanos's son thane destroys thanos inside a video game he takes okay careful spoilers if you've not played that video game marvel ultimate alliance 3 so essentially what happens in the game is thane takes the infinity gauntlet then makes the ultimate infinity gauntlet armor and then they still destroy him but that's a side note so i, I just don't know what to say guys i really want the snyder cut to come out just to shut people up and say yeah it real it was real but even the composer danny elfman is like don't hold out for snyder cut so it's really hard to st you've got to think about it like a business would it add any value saying it's going to come would it add any value releasing it to me sure bro it would but i realistically don't know what to think but i do I do have feels for it because I supported the Justice League movie so much 
So that's why I get a little bit annoyed when people say Henry Cavill is no longer Superman. Then he's out there promoting The Witcher, but he stays staying, hey, yeah, I might be doing The Witcher, but I've not forgetting, forgotten about my Superman role. I still want to play Superman. So if he's all about the money, like some YouTubers and creators were trying to make out that Cavill was out because he wanted the ridiculous amount of money, he's got the Netflix Witcher money and he still wants to play Superman. So that tells you that him playing the role, it's not about the money. It's about playing the right role, the right variation of Superman. And they easily could make Man of Steel 2 set after Man of Steel 1. And it realistically, guys, would not be hard. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. Hopefully this will be the last Snyder Cut variation of a Superman video that I have to do for a while unless we get some major news. It's just these articles and stories keep popping up. And as I am a channel that likes to keep involved with stories that are relative and are relevant, I keep putting stories out. So like always, guys, support the release of Snyder Cut and support Henry Cavill being the Witcher that comes out tomorrow. We will be doing some kind of review on it, maybe on the camera. I'm not sure yet. I haven't posted, I haven't recorded it yet. But like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. Catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later. <laughs>